Greetings, D&D players, enthusiasts, and observers alike, and welcome back to Chronicles of Kriath. My name is Emma, and I will be your DM today and every day that this wonderful campaign exists. Now, as per usual, let's go around our virtual table and reintroduce our characters and players that we'll be playing this evening. Going in a bit of a reverse order, though the order on the screen has changed quite a bit, we will start with our good boy, both in campaign and real life, Andrew. It's me, the embodiment of neutral good. Uh, yes, playing Thael Thu, the reborn lizard folk, cleric, and druid of the star related subclasses, as I will say every time. And yeah, who does not actually hate the whole gang here, as <laughs> in reference to the last one? Not true. Don't lie. No comment. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I would hope you don't hate us. <laughs> but since you have no comment, we shall move on from that subject and to a different member of our party, and we shall introduce Gia. Hi, it's me, Gia. I'm here playing Chatwin Darcy, a reborn half-elf sorcerer of a spooky subclass. Uh, <laughs> just hoping I don't die in the first 10 minutes of this session. <laughs> eh, eh, kind of hoping you don't die either, but we'll see here. I, I got advantage on death saves. I'm fine. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll see how much that saves you. Oh, God. We move on to our friend who hates to be first, but hasn't been for the past few introductions, Rosie. Hi, I'm Rosie, and I'm playing Elon, a uh, guard captain from Korea. Indeed you are, ma'am. And we now move on to Nathan, who is playing his, well, I don't know what to call them anymore. They're very clearly, like, attracted to each other, but they just haven't gone for it yet. So whatever name that carries. The will they, won't they. That's that's fair. Hi, I'm Nathan. I play Ruberos, apparently. And uh, I'm an angel? Uh yeah, that Angel Fuckboy. That's me. Uh, Angel of the Fuckboys. Angel of the Fuckboys, indeed. And we now move on to his dad in character, of course, although player is also a dad. Jeremy. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeremy, and I play Damien. Kind of like acting dad for Rubo, and if this was like five or six episodes ago, I would have called him Angel of Sloth, because... <laughs> But that's me. I'm Damien. I beat shit with hammers in my fists and carry around a big shield. That you do. And apparently also are about to carry Chatwin because last time when we left off, we had some interesting exploration around the Circle of Temples where Rubo spoke to the Angel of Love, Amoros. And found out that he used to be an angel of the same ideology. We then followed everyone to the temple of Raphaeros, where he explained that he was not, in fact, involved in the attack on the Sparkling Grove and the Feywild, but that his counterpart, Malian, the demon of plague and disease, impersonated him. At least that's his belief. And convinced one of his more deranged followers to raise up an army of undead. They left that meeting to possibly go speak with him. And Chatwin began to feel very sick and was told to get away from the temple that she was standing in front of, which is the Temple of the Moros, uh, Angel of Law and Justice. And instead of following that advice, she followed it for a second and walked away and felt better and then decided to go full-blown sprint back towards the temple. And we return to Chatwin full-on sprinting and you're, you're not going to stop, are you, Chatwin? I'm going as far as I can physically move. Okay. The closer you get back to the building, the more the nausea comes back. You're literally holding back bile the closer and closer you get to the point where it's like overwhelming. It almost feels like your your stomach is folding in on itself 
uh, with how much pain you're in. The splitting headache returns as Santhavek screams in your head, Chatvin, what are you doing? And you would be able to get all the way to the steps of the temple. And the moment that your foot steps onto the first step, it almost feels like you got punched in the face and your consciousness is slammed back into that mirror room. Oh no. Everyone else, you see Chatwin take, like, full-on sprinting. She sets her foot on the first step of the temple, and almost like she did get punched in the face, just eyes roll back in the head, and she falls backwards onto the ground, unconscious. Uh, what do I gotta roll to catch her? Because I was chasing after her. Roll me, I would say that's a dex save to catch her before she falls on the ground. Whew, I am not good at this. That's... <laughs> oh no. In roll 20, it was two natural ones. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> My man. You step on me. <laughs> Just run her the fuck over and be like, oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> you more like fall on her trying to catch her. <laughs> now you have this big heavy ass fucking dude on you. Mm -hmm. But Chad, when you feel none of this as we follow you into your subconscious, you are... Typically, when you recede into this like state where you're sort of hiding in your own mind and are out of your body, there's this sort of like ethereal like sense of calm as you detach yourself from all the scary things and, and uncertainties in the outside world. And there's a little bit of that as you no longer feel the pain and sickness that your body was feeling, but... It's quickly replaced with a mix of confusion and concern as you see the fiery form of Santhavek in the center of this room as well. Long flowing black hair, skin kind of like embers at this point. But she looks like she is holding a human body, essentially. But her whole form is encased in like fire and embers as her blood red eyes stare directly into the face of a woman with similar round glasses to that of Raphaeros, but much bigger to the point where the frames almost touch her eyebrows. Straight black hair tucked back in a very neat and tidy ponytail and amber eyes. She almost looks like a librarian when you look at her, but she is definitely not as sweet as... A librarian, because you see she has a hand wrapped around the throat of Santhavek, and they are staring each other down. And she she doesn't even pay you any mind as she looks straight into Santhavek's eyes and goes, What the fuck are you doing here? And Santhavek goes, It's wonderful to see you too, darling. It's been a long time since you banished me to the fire plane. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm. Can I weasel in between them? What the fuck? Both sets of eyes kind of dart to you as you're. Are you trying to push them away from each other? I'm just trying to get in between them, mostly. Um, acrobatics check, I guess. Can it be athletics? I'm just brute forcing my way in. That I'll allow that, yeah. Okay, dope. I'm much better at athletics. That is going to be... What do I add to athletics? Plus five? That's going to be 16. Okay, not too bad. You managed to loosen her grip on Santhavek's throat a little bit, but Santhavek doesn't even really seem phased. And you're... You're assuming that neither is uh, the woman as you can see like burns are starting to pop up on her hand from where she was holding Santhavek. And she kind of looks down at you and is like, and who the fuck are you? Who the, who the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? This is my brain, motherfucker. Is that any way to talk to a goddess or angel rather? Same difference, really. Does it look like I give a fuck? What the fuck is happening here? And she would reach down towards you and Santhavek would be like, ah, 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 hurt the mortal? That burn will be the least of your worries. And she's like, huh, I never thought you could feel affection for anyone again. Well, maybe it takes a 
someone a little more, I don't know, possessing of a heart. And they, they're, they're continuing to banter back and forth as you're sort of standing there and you've become ignored once again. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um uh, uh you are uh the one I was in front of, the one I was in front of. Uh, the Angel of Law and Justice, right? Looks back down at you. That's me. Good. Did you bring her back here? I have so many questions. Well, too bad I'm not really in a question answering mood. No, that's fine. I was going to say I don't give a fuck because I have a feeling that you're not going to answer any of my questions, but now I know where to look. The Angel of Law and Justice. Now I know exactly where to look. My whole struggle this entire time has been knowing not knowing where to look for fucking answers, just been perusing every book I come across hoping that I get lucky enough, but now I know where to look. So thank you for that. Sandebeck, we can go. She kind of looks at you confused. We can go where? Uh out of here. Out of your head. Right. I like, away from this situation, I mean. Like, we're good. Unless you have the power to banish an angel from your head. Oh, fuck off. Now there's three of us? <laughs> and the Moros laughs a little and looks down at you and is like, oh, I'm not staying here. I definitely don't want to be near her again. I would preferably want her off this plane, but if she's stuck in your head, then, well, I'll have to do some research to take care of that one. And Santa Vec will be like, well, gladly. I didn't exactly want to be drugged back here to see your sorry ass again either. Is Santa Vec your real name? And Santa Vec looks down. It was, yes. Huh. How did, how did Radius know about you? That? That I don't know. Well... And she's kind of hesitant to keep speaking, and but Thamoros cuts in and is like, she was kind of a big deal. She had her own kingdom for a while, both here and in the fire plane after I banished her. But that's neither here nor there. The big thing is, and she she lets go of Santhavec and fully turns to you now. Little girl. Oh, please. I'm hundreds of years older than you, thousands even. So? You're pretty little. Either way, this bitch isn't supposed to be anywhere near my temple, let alone near this plane. If you bring her back here, I don't care if she hitched a ride, intentionally or not. Both of you die. Understood? Why would... Let me guess. Someone wanted to bring her back because it's she's an all-powerful evil that someone wants to use to their will. Santa Vec is like, Chatvin, we will discuss this later. Now is really not a good time. Well, I mean, I'm already talking out of my ass and getting answers from this one, even though she said she wasn't going to give me answers. You had a kingdom here and in the fire plane. Sandvek is, once was your real name. I'm getting answers from you, too. Uh, you were banished by the God, by the angel of law and justice. I'm getting so much answers when you said that I wasn't going to be getting any. You're getting bits and pieces from bickering of former lovers. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's another one. That's another one right there. Emphasis on the former. What the fuck? But don't let my um. ex-wife taint your image of me. We were just going, darling, if you let us. But you do have a penchant for talking on, so if you would rather give this little girl all the answers she was looking for, please do continue. Right, no, what's she saying? Like, you can either give it to us or I'll just go find it myself. Either way, are we done here? She kind of looks down at you. Yeah, we're done. As long as you don't set foot near my temple again. Have fun with the nausea. And she disappears from your mind. And you slowly come to in front of the temple, stomach still cramping and seizing, and you immediately feel like you need to throw up. I would probably be carrying her by this point. <laughs> After my trip, I probably would have been like, uh, y'all did not see that. <laughs> but I picks her up, so it's carrying her off. All right. So then I would say at this point, you're far enough away from that temple that uh, you feel fine. <laughs> I sit up really quickly and like kind of fall out of Damien's arms a bit, because uh, just the sudden jolt of movement. <laughs> uh, are you all right, Chatwin? <laughs> 
Oh, I look around at all the temples. Fuck all of this, honestly. Fuck all of this. Fuck you, I say, pointing to my head. Fuck all of this. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you too, dear. This. <laughs> I fully, you know, stand up from Damien and just kind of brush myself off. It has been nothing but fear and confusion for so long, and it was this bullshit? Really? I say to addressing Sandovec. Seriously. What do you mean by this bullshit? This bullshit, you know... Oh, oh ch- chat when we're, we're in public. You think we should probably go somewhere else for you to yell at the other chat one? If you're talking about the fact that my ex-wife is an angel, that is a very long story that I would be happy to show you when we're not in the middle of things. Fuck this. Um, Rubo. Yeah, what's up? I... I'm sorry for the way I acted. You caught me off guard with something that repulses me to my very core. And I acted out. I Before she even finished her sentence, Rubo hugs Jowen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uncomfortable or not. Pat, pat, pat. It's okay. And as you pat, <laughs> Santa Beck is literally like, what do you think you're doing? I think I'm... Look, I put my hands on your shoulders and kind of push you away a bit to look you in the face and look at everyone else. Look... I I am not going to share things easily, but a lot of the fear was just taken away from me because I just witnessed something truly ridiculous. So Oh, I can relate to that. I was watching a, a goat eat a chicken one time and just like all the worries in the world just disappeared. It was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. I I don't know how long this feeling of amusement. I think I'm in such a state of shock and terror that I feel amused almost. And I don't know how long this is going to last, but as an apology to everyone, when we get um, to an inn or a camp or something where we can rest, you can all ask me three things collectively, not each. I will answer. <laughs> I will answer honestly and truthfully. Just understand it's not easy to do, especially since I have a feeling I know what you're going to ask about. Uh, all right. Um. And part of this is because I think I need to extend my search radius a bit. So I need other minds to help me. Well, I don't have a very good mind, but I'd be willing to lend you what I got. And while I can relate that this feeling won't last very long, I think I actually want a drink. Yeah. Let's see if I can get drunk. All right, I'll buy rounds. Okay. I, before we leave, think I need to talk to one more, if you guys... Don't mind. Wouldn't mind. Which one? I mean, uh, go ahead. I I was going to talk to them, but I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Let's get drunk. And uh, do you need us to go with you, Rubo? Um, I don't. I don't. I, I look at the author because the author is the only one that knows kind of exactly why I like a little bit of information. And I'm like, I need to speak to Darian. Okay, I'll just. I feel like, you know, Chatwin wants to be honest, so maybe I should be honest. Okay. Uh, apparently, I used to be an angel, and uh, Odirian is who I opposed. But I think we might have been friends, but we also were opposed, so they might try to kill me. I don't, I don't actually know. Then we're not letting you go alone. Nope, not at all. I just, I kind of have to at least ask what they know of me apparently i'm super old like i used to be an angel like thousands of years ago i think i don't know how long i, I didn't actually clarify that maybe odirian will know wait you're being serious right now i know this is kind of crazy Let, let's just go listen the robot everything that's happened to me since i left home has been crazy so it's just par for the course at this point so lead on let's just go well, I think the question is, Rubo, do you want us to come with you? I mean, yeah. I, I, You guys are the closest people I have in my life, and I would guess I'm just nervous about what the answers could be, or even if there will be answers. So I was nervous about going, but if we're going to leave, I guess I should do this before we go. Well, then in that case, lead on. Damon's going to turn to chat when he's like, is that all right if we all go do this real quick and then go get drunk? Yeah, sure. Um... I'll come with too. Um, I just, 
I don't think I point towards backwards the Angel of Law and Justice temple. I don't think I can go back over there. As much as I kind of want to, just to just to fuck with her, I probably shouldn't. That would be a bad idea. You hit the steps pretty hard. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Honestly, it's a. Uh... Chapman pauses for a moment. It's a good thing I don't really bleed. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, so all of you are headed to Odirian's temple. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. You head over, and unlike the temples of the angels, the demons had the interiors of their temples uh, decorated with black marble, but it has sort of this similar, similar design, very imposing. There are carvings everywhere dedicated to the feats of Odirian. And there is actually no priest or priestess manning the doors. You you get the feeling that this place hasn't been visited in quite some time. And the door is open to the main the main prayer room. There are no side prayer areas. Just table and two cushions. Although it looks quite dusty in there. Should we have brought a goat or something? Uh, is that something you do? I don't know. I used to hear stories as kids about like ritual sacrifices. What's this uh, one? The demon of again? I think it's anger and hatred. They're supposedly opposing to me, which <sighs> would have been love and affection. So then, I mean, uh, our friend can just be being fucking furious. Okay, you go first because you're pretty good at that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Was it just your idea, Rupo? <sighs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, come on. I move. I put my hands on the back of your shoulders and move you in front of me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. I let go, <laughs> like kids on training wheels. I, I walk forward into the center of the main prayer room, dust like kicking up beneath my feet. This place fucking sucks. I look back at you. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, no, fuck this place. Honestly, all these all this bullshit with gods and angels and demons is fucking exhausting and amusing and just childish all at the same time. Fuck this place. Are you two the only ones who stepped into the main room? Is everyone else outside? No, I'm I'm right next to Rubo. Okay. I feel like the other's probably like in the room but by the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, just watching them in the center and just just looks at them and goes. You know, if we die from this, whatever afterlife or next life we are ever in, I am seriously going to kick both of your asses. <laughs> there might not be asses to kick as we will become stars. <laughs> <laughs> and Damien just like, oh, uh, hello, are you there? If you want, I could try to blow something up in here. That's kind of the only thing I know how to do. And... You all jump as the door behind you slams shut. Oh. And you are all plunged into darkness as there are no torches lit, no candles, no nothing. I cast light immediately. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to do a thing. <laughs> I light my hand on fire. <laughs> I was going to share dark vision, but... That's okay. I think Rubo just <laughs> light. <laughs> Fair enough. And you all pause for a moment as the silence sits. And you see the glow of a pair of red eyes after a moment in the darkness as a voice rings out and goes, Normally I am summoned with pleas of revenge plots. Not taunting about how... What did you say? Um... This whole business with the gods and demons sucks. I think she said angels, too. Yeah, included the angels. Oh, I completely agree on that front, but... Well, that's not very nice to say about an old friend. Not the point. He kind of looks over at you. You see a flash of recon recognition in the eyes. You see the eyes dart back to all of, the, all of your friends in the room. Are you sure that's safe to be talking about in front of them? Nope. Good, because it's not safe to be talking about here either. If the gods find out you're here, you will not survive. 
Or I'd have to go through me first. And as much as I would like to think you would keep him safe, none of us would leave this room. Myself included. I don't know, a lot of things have tried to kill me recently. Things I didn't even imagine possible, like giant snakes and dead people, so... The gods have much more power than undead or snakes. Ruberos, and he looks back at you again. I wave. The light's like moving around on my hand. (laughs) (laughs) If you want the full story, as I'm sure that's what you're here for, let us meet in your home, not mine. Um, what's my home? I don't, I kind of just... The Howling Dunes? The home that you remember now, not the home that you had previously. I was going to say Amaros is probably living in my old home. It's possible. But no one will follow us there. Uh, how do we get a hold of you? Is it just like giving prayer or something like that, like they do for the other gods? Well, you certainly don't have to goad me into showing up. I know an old friend's voice. All right. Well, that makes things easier. I think Rubo gets like a smile across his face and he's like, uh, we're, we're friends then? Yes, we are friends. <sighs> I really, I really thought they were going to. What? Did you think I was going to kill you? Yeah, I really thought I was going to die. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Funny as always. Talk to me when you're home. That way we're out of earshot of. Other parties who may actually want you dead. Understood? Yeah, uh, that, that's something. Then I will see you then. And you see the eyes blink and disappear. And you are all left in slightly less darkness now that Rubo has a light in his hand. And Damon's going to be like, well, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. We didn't have to fight him. That was- yeah. I, I, I had no idea how this... I really thought we all might just die right now. I was getting a little scared. Yeah. Uh, you're from the Howling Dunes. Uh, I guess? Well, yeah, I, yes, I, I'm from the... Uh, I, feel, I feel very conflicted about my identity right now. And we have to go there now. Fuck. Uh, I mean... Is that a problem? Uh, later, later, later. Um, yes, fuck, fuck, fuck. Anyways, uh, I go open the door <laughs> to let in more light. <laughs> Can, before, okay, let's leave first and then I'll say this. Never mind. Yeah, I think there's a time and place for, we. I feel like a lot of us have to process a lot of things. Um, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get out of this building. Damon's the only over to chat and be like, how'd you do the thing with the fire? I just kind of like and it <laughs> I put light my hand on fire again. It's just something I've been able to do for a while. Damien's gonna reach out and snap. Nothing's gonna happen. He's like, damn. Oh, it was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> I think your thing is a little different than mine. Oh I got it, I got it. let there be fire. And I'm gonna cast produce flame and light my sleeve on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, put it out, put it out. <laughs> And you see this little flame appear on Damien's sleeve <laughs> before he's like, oh shit, I'm on fire, and starts panning out the small flame. Uh, I cast control flames and extinguish it. <laughs> Damien, the fire on your sleeve goes out. All right, thank you. I don't think I'm going to do that one again. That, uh, that did not work out how I anticipated. The hair on your arm in that particular spot is singed, Damien. Fucking woolly mammoth on 95% of my arm. <laughs> We exit, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you walk out. The sky has now gone to like that fun, like purple, orange, red color that the later sunset becomes. It's getting pretty late. (sighs) All right. Is there like a tavern here? Right here? No. But uh, you would be able to take the path that you took in up to where all of the rest of the actual town itself is. This is literally just area reserved for the temples themselves. Well, it's a little bit of a trek back, but we should be able to make it before it's too late. Yeah, let's, I guess, boots the dirt. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The feeling of amusement has faded, and all I feel is dread and sadness again. 
well, it was fun while it lasted. That might also be because we did just meet an actual demon. <sighs> yeah. I mean, he was, he was pretty cool about it, at least. True. All right, let's go. All right. And you guys start to make the journey back. You would have to cast light again, probably, if you dissipated it about part way up the path as uh, the light would very quickly fade for you guys and it would become dark. Okay. It, it does last for an hour, so I'll, I'll just cast it again after an hour. Okay. Well, it takes about an hour to get back to the town. Cool. So you would still have it for the duration of the thing, but you wouldn't actually need it until about halfway through when the sun sets fully. As you guys are coming back up, and the buildings of the town and like the torches and the lights of civilization start to appear for you all. Uh, chat when I need you to make me one more perception check, please. <sighs> okay, come on. Which die should I use? Let's use the ring. Come on, come on, come on. What do I have to perception? Oh, come on. That is an 18 plus zero. <laughs> all right here. With an 18, you had almost forgotten that in a few other towns you had looked out for this. But as you walk up the path and start back into civilization, your eyes catch on a missive board posted near the path. And you spot a, f a few of your typical like wanted posters, job posters. You see something akin to your face uh, on one of the wanted posters. but Outside of that, surrounding your face, well, not necessarily surrounding your face, you, one like in the center of the board, you see an article with the headline, Andrus Isle Leaders Arrested. And next to your wanted poster, you see the face of your eldest brother, Samson. Uh completely ignoring my wanted poster i run up and grab the article and samson's off 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 the wall and you look and long story short you see samson's wanted poster it looks very recent and it is dated the day before your guys's arrival here so it is very recent and the article is dated the same date as you skim and Essentially, it states that your entire family has been arrested for harboring a fugitive as they found out that you were living with them and they will be tried in a week's time. In the meantime, they're being kept in the sanatorium for fear that guards will be loyal to the family and bust them from the official Andrus Isle prison. And Donovan Thane has taken over political duties for the island in the interim of your grandfather's arrest, as he was still handling political affairs. <laughs> I think I... Oh my god! I shove the article and Samson's wanted poster into my bag, tear my wanted poster off the wall. <sighs> Zanivek? Yes, Chathvin. I'm on board now. I set my hand on fire and I burn the missive board. <laughs> and you guys watch as this board goes up in flames. Oh, I'll take that. You found something you didn't want to see. We should probably get moving now. What does my wanted poster say again when I look at it? Wanted for murder. <sighs> and resisting arrest. No arson? <laughs> <laughs> I read my wanted poster and I'm going to burn it up in my hands. You know how I just said we can't go to the Howling Dunes? Now, now we have to. Now we have to. Can I ask what's going on? Or do you want me to just trust you and follow you? She said we get three questions. I honestly wasn't going to hold her to that. If you want that to be one of the three. I'm asking you if you'd like me to just trust you and follow you. Someone. 
and a toy. <laughs> there are a few people in the Howling Dunes who need to die, and I'm going to need some help. Damien's going to look at Thale, too, because I'm pretty sure that that's not how he operates. Yeah, he was, was going to gonna interject to be, and there is good reason for their death. Maybe. I found one that I like, at least. I'm going to hold up Samson's wanted poster that I took off the board. <laughs> My brother is not a criminal. My family are not criminals. And even we have a week to get to where we need to go. If you'll all join me, I... They will not suffer in the Thane Sanatorium, as I have. Uh, what's a sanatorium? I think it's like a bathroom, Damien. Oh, that's a weird place to suffer. It's a place where they throw people that they drive to madness. It's where I lived. <laughs> I think I understand where the two chat ones come from, then. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go get your family out. Family's very important. We can try. We should try to get them out without killing innocent people. None of them are innocent. Trust me. <sighs> All right. I trust you, Batman. I'm going to need your help, too. I say to myself. You have it. You've known that for years. Fuck. I was wondering what would drive you to this. It seems we found it. We're going to hurt some people. We're going to hurt some people, and we're going to do it very soon. <clears throat> um, if we are going to go back to the Howling Dunes, uh, I should mention that uh, one of the reasons I left is someone was kind of hunting me, I think. I don't know who, but uh, I, I kind of fled. So, just so you guys are aware. <laughs> Well, the Howling Dunes sound like a pretty <laughs> shit place, then. I'm sorry, this isn't funny. Rubo, do you know why I left? Were you also being hunted? I don't actually know why I was being hunted. I, I have murdered a lot of people, but... Baby leads into the Thales like, I think they use murder as, like, a synonym for killing, hopefully, bad people. I don't know. I am... I can't believe this hasn't come up before. Uh... There's a lot of things coming up. Um, Let's start going and we can talk on the way. And as we head back, Elon just says really loudly, like, Thathan, you do good work. I'm getting a drink now. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's going to like, is there, is there a god of like wine or anything like that or celebrations? Nope. <laughs> Damn. I was going to run at that temple and fucking jack something. <laughs> Get the good stuff. Damien's definitely going to go buy some like bottles of drinks so we can drink on a boat. All right. You guys head to the nearest inn. Damien, you're buying like top shelf wine. If I've got the money to do it, how much is it going to cost me? I don't care if it makes me broke. So long. I'll chip in. Depending on how many bottles you're getting uh, and of what kind of liquor. Six. I want two rum, two wine. And two, like, of some kind of clear liquor. The heavy shit. Okay. The wine's not too bad. That's a couple gold a bottle. Oof. Already starting out rough there. All right. <laughs> so what, that's four gold for the wine? Yeah. And that's, like, top shelf wine. So, like, really good quality stuff. All right. The rum, around the same. That'll cost you, like, three gold because it's harder liquor. So... It's a little more expensive. So six total. I'm down. So that's eleven, or that's ten total. I'm down to one gold coin. Oh jeez. What kind of nasty fucking clear liquor? <laughs> Rubo, Rubo throws ten gold on the on the counter for Damien. Which is exactly enough to afford the top tier or the top shelf vodka. Dope. And he's like, "Thanks. I, I honestly didn't expect it to be that expensive." And it was. Liquor's never been that expensive back home. <laughs> like silver, usually. Then again, I guess they make it there. And the bartender kind of looks at you and goes, Well, they say it's a tourist town, so. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Things are 
a bit marked up here because we go through this stuff faster. That also makes sense. All right. Well, thank you. Um, we're probably going to go get drunk now. <laughs> My pleasure. And he'll also hand you your room key because I would assume you bought rooms as well. Yeah. How much would those cost? Those would be like a couple silver a night. The rooms aren't as expensive as the booze. <laughs> cool. I'll ditch my last gold coin to pay for all of our rooms. Okie dokie. I have a silver and four copper to my name. Feels like back home again. <laughs> 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 Old country bumpkin. This building in particular would have uh, four floors. He would have put all your rooms on the third floor. Damon's going to be like, so we all going to drink in my room tonight. Works for me. I think for once I'll partake. All right. Can I see one of those bottles of um, the hardest shit that you got? I want to see if this works. Hands her a bottle of the vodka. You got a room for just me, right? Yep. You, you and Thelthu and uh, Rubo and Aelon and myself, we all got our own rooms. I'm going to, I'm going to go. I have to think about some things. <laughs> uh, I take a very l- deep swig <laughs> from the bottle. <clears throat> well, good night. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my room <laughs> <laughs> with the bottle. And you hear Santa back chime in in the back of your head. So much for answering their questions. I mean, if they want to, oh, fuck. Did, was that happening tonight? <laughs> go back down the stairs. <laughs> I think if you're only comfortable with it after that uh, display. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you not comfortable, you can put a pin in it and we'll talk about it later. I'm not comfortable with anything. I haven't been for a very long time, but that's okay. Um, I, I'm filled with so much deep, deep anger right now. I feel like I'm going to explode. Uh, like, have you ever felt so angry? It just feels like your blood and body is on fire. Yeah. I spent, like, a month doing that. Please don't light this place on fire. That's why I wear these the gloves. Got you. You, you want to have a boxing match? Helps burn it off a little bit. I am strong. I am still physically, like, uh, I, I do not have, um, like, you would knock me out pretty quickly. I would maybe get a few good hits in, but... Uh, I'm probably not going to be hitting you very hard. I'm going to let you burn off your anger. All right, well, we should probably go up to my room then if we're doing this. I take another deep drink. No, come over to mine. We're all going to drink and maybe play horseshoes. I can set up horseshoes in the room. I got a couple of them. Do you have a... We'll find out when we get there. Okay. I'll go up to Damien's room, I guess, with everyone else. Yep. You head over to the room that Damien has chosen. And as you enter in, the uh, you see a very nicely decorated bedroom. One large bed in the center, a dresser, a desk in the corner. Is there a mirror on the wall anywhere? Not in the main room, but there's like a little like bathroom area off to the side where there would be a mirror. Okay. Is it one that I can take off like a nail on the wall? However it's hung up. It's mounted to the wall. Okay. Well, I'm going to stand outside of its view until everybody enters. Elon is going to go in, immediately grab a bottle, sits, takes a very long, hard look at it, makes life choices, decides against them, makes life choices again, and disregards them once more. <laughs> Chat one. Hmm. Can you promise me at least to remind me of what we talked about tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's great that we're doing this when everyone's getting drunk. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I actually thought I wouldn't drink tonight. Oh, shit. Weirdly enough. There has never been a time that I remember when I drink. Well, we'll see what everyone remembers in the morning. Mm. So um, that just means you need to drink more. You get more used to it. (laughs) I'm begging you, please don't let me go outside of this floor. Oh, that won't happen. And bottom something, let's get a drink. (laughs) I got drunk, (laughs) Elon. Con save, sir? That would be a nine. Blasted. Oh boy. Okay. Which liquor did you take? <laughs> I I don't know. Roll a D five. <laughs> roll a D roll a D four. Roll a D four. Three. You grabbed the vodka. 
all the special shit. You are mm-hmm. shit faced. <laughs> and it burns going down, and you feel it immediately. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damien's going to tilt back a bottle of rum and be like, All right, come on, Chatwin, get up here. Let me see what you got. This is going to take his armor off and put his fists up. Like, come on. Oh, we're not doing this, Damien. I will drop like a rock, I swear. I told you I'm not going to hit you. I just want you to hit me. Get your anger out. I used to do it with my boy all the time. I, I'm i trying to keep this anger tucked away and saving it. So that it just blows up and burns something to the ground? That's not how you do it. I'm worried that's what's going to happen if I let it out. Maybe you're just a pussy. Well, that was unexpected. Holy shit, Ayla. Look. <sighs> just throw a few punches at least. Scream at me if you want to. I just sigh and I step in front of the mirror. The reflection, it you see first the back of Chatwin's head and everything looks normal, but turning to face the mirror, you see a face melting off the bone in a pool of iridescent like rainbow colors, just a psychedelic, like it looks like you're on the worst trip of your life. And you're seeing some scary shit. Just a psychedelic mingling of just this face should not exist. There there are extra eyes that keep appearing. There's there's teeth in places where there shouldn't be. And it's all melting together into a pot of just disgusting horror. And I stand there long enough for everyone to see. And then put a hand over the face in the mirror. And turn to look at everybody else with my normal face. Elon sees... I'm not drunk enough. Exactly. Well, that was different. Doesn't change anything. You're still Chatwin. The other Chatwin, that's a scary one. But you're still you. So come on. Just, like I said, go a few rounds. Just throw some punches. It will make you feel better not bottling it up. Trust me when I say that. Trust me. I'm... I'm truly trying to save this anger for when I get to the Thane Sanatorium. But it's going to make you make more mistakes. I'll be fine, Damien. All right. We all for will stand. I'll probably take you up on it one day, but... I'll fight you. Elon. Oh? Come on, pretty boy. Let's see what you got. Oh, no. Is this not to be a time of relax and, and celebration? This is how I relax. I used to do this at the bar all the time. Oh, we're relaxing? Cool. Takes off his shirt. God, you bitch. <laughs> and Ruba's just like, ooh. Ruba's been like contemplating quietly in the back of the room and he just goes, wait, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You, you see Alon and fucking uh, Damien taking their shirts off, getting ready to box. Chatwin, if you're going to box Alon, uh, body shots? Oh, don't worry. I ain't gonna hit him in his face. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, right here. Come on, old man, I dare ya. <laughs> Let's see if you can take a body shot first. Okay, what do we do here? <laughs> Roll some initiatives, please. 19 plus 4, 23. That's an 8 plus 0. <laughs> Yikes. Elon's definitely going first. Okay, do I get any... Should I roll a disadvantage because I'm drunk? Yes, you are shit-faced, so you are rolling a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a straight d20 roll plus strength uh, modifier? Yes. Yep, and do your strength modifier and damage. Who you are? Okay. Unarmed fighting when you're not a monk. (laughs) And both of you don't have armor, so... Don't... Don't say I didn't warn you, old man. Oh, yeah, I took my armor off. I've got an AC of 10. Yeah, I was going to say, hitting each other is probably not going to be the hard part. So. He's going to, uh, so probably, what, throw two punches, right? So I got a 16 for the first roll and a 17 for the second. So 16 plus 17, 23 to hit. Yep. 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 What do I roll for damage? Unarmed strikes are D4 plus strength. Holy shit, man, I'm gonna hit hard. Fuck. Three plus seven, ten. A plus seven to uh, for strength? Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at my save. My bad, it's a four. 
Okay. Does it still work? So three plus four. So that's seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, my bad. So I rolled a natural 20, and then second roll is a nine. So nine plus four is 13. So that will still hit. I rolled a four, eight. Eight damage. Yeah, you throw some, despite being drunk, you still throw some pretty solid punches. And Damien, you were planning on delivering the first body shots, but you took two, two pretty solid body shots on that one. You just be like, oh, not bad. Soldier boy knows how to fight. Uh, I don't get to make multiple techs, so uh, fuck you. <laughs> how that come off was hilarious. That's a 14 to hit. I believe that hits. Hits, yeah. Roll you some damage, Damien. That'll be five damage. All right. Elon, you take one straight to the gut for five points. Okay. I mean, so we're going to do this back and forth. Mm-hmm. How far are you guys going with it? Oh, he's just having fun with it. I mean, yeah, we probably have fun at this point. At some point, I'm probably just going to try to grapple and not give a fuck at anything at all. I mean, I figured once I dropped below half, he'd be like, all right, you, you, I think you're a little too young and spunky for me. <laughs> you know what? We should just go do something. No. Nah, I told you I'd keep you in the room. We should le- you chat when we, we should go do something. I'm all right, Aelan. I think you need to sit down. How about we uh, burn a boat? You don't like boats? I, it's not boats. I don't like water, Aelan. And we can burn the water. Aelan. No. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Aren't you a, a guard on, of the law? Listen, James would let me do it. Yeah, well, if you're going to be a cunt when you get drunk, I'm not going to let you get drunk anymore. I'm not drunk. <laughs> sure. You can proceed to think of how the night is going to go now. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, probably going to turn in, though. I've drank like half the bottle and nothing because <laughs> I don't have blood flow. Uh, <laughs> I just kind of like set the half drunk bottle down. Um, I'm probably I'm going to turn in. Um, I just have a lot to think about. I think a lot of us do. Nope. <laughs> if uh, drunk Elon aside, uh, <laughs> if you're all okay with making haste. Yeah, let's leave first thing in the morning. Yeah, we have a week. How do you even make paste? Okay, Elon. Go lay down. Go lay down. Rubo, entertain your boyfriend. Do you all want me to handle him? Yes, please. I, I'm going to attempt to cast sleep at second level. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That is 78. But you have to give me a second. I need to get a dice roller. How many hit points you got there, Elon? Uh, well, I'm not sure after the fight, but uh, we'll see. You would probably be around half. Yeah. If so around like 25, 26, actually. You have the same, almost the same amount of hit points I do. Holy shit. Yeah, I got 52. So I rolled a 38, which is 7 D8s because of second level casting. I get two additional from the five. Unless, I forget, is, is Elon an he wasn't an elf, right? He's half elf. Do half elf have that immunity like elves? I think they technically do, me look. I think they might have resistance. I don't think they have immunity. Yeah, yeah. I get saving throws on being charmed and magic can't put you to sleep. Yep, so it doesn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I, Dale Dude doesn't know that. I mean, like, do you come over and try to cast a spell regardless? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's like standing in a corner and starts, you know, what is it? Verbal. Verbal. Yeah, he starts like saying something in dru- um, druidic and waving his hand around with the uh, the. I guess it's the bow because that's where the spell focus is. So trying to cast something, but it, you know, <laughs> as stardust sprinkles over. Yeah, Elon's just gonna, you know, like stumble over, put an arm around you, and just completely immerses himself of your scales. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. Like, how do you wash? It? Um, <laughs> just thinking to the last time he actually <laughs> took any sort of bath or any sort of cleanliness great question we should go find a river no we should all have enjoy ourselves for a little bit and then get some sleep we're waking up early tomorrow right um i 
I am going to take my leave because uh, this all seems like a lot. I'll let the boys um, get up to their shenanigans. But I'm going to resign from the activities for the night. As long as nobody has any questions, then I'm going to. Uh, as Chatwin leaves, I want to slip out into the hall with her. All right. Uh, yeah, Rubu. Can I ask my question? If, if you like. Oh, if I just steal one from everybody without them here. I'll tell them later if it, if they want to know. That's fine. It kind of gets quiet for a second. Is the other chat one, as Damien's been calling it, um, want anything from you? <laughs> the bit of the thing is I said I would answer honestly. So <sighs> She is called Sandavik. And yes, she, what I know at least, she wants bloody, gory, horrible revenge against the people who did this to me. I motioned myself. And those people happen to be the same ones who have imprisoned my family. So. Is it, is it a second question if I ask where she came from? That is most definitely a second question. And one I haven't even answered for you. I'll say yes. And unfortunately, the answer is I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out for four and a half years now maybe uh i i lost track of time a bit when i was in the um sanatorium so she's what i'm researching and apparently um she and the angel of law and justice were involved uh, so that's my biggest lead into what she is she's related to the god somehow she was a spouse of this angel yeah hmm. well then i won't take another question from you but if she can hear me, does she know who I am or anything about me? What What do you mean by that? She's the spouse of an angel. I apparently used to be one. I'm just curious if maybe she knows anything about me. You hear Santhavec kind of... It's almost like you can hear her kind of like staring from your mind. Unfortunately, Dema wasn't an angel when I married her, so... Her knowledge came shortly before I was banished. I would not know any of it. I'm sorry. It's worth a shot. Yeah. I'll let you break the news that um, the three of them only have one question left in the morning. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, you know, thanks for not, you know, being weird about it. I, it's difficult understanding what I am. Just to myself, so. Oh, you're pretty cool. She kind of sucks. Sorry, whoever's in there. Sant Santo Santovec, however you said it. Santovec. Santovec, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's terrifying hearing it to come out of someone else's mouth. <laughs> Tell him not to get too comfortable with it. Anyways, you can share any of that that you like with everyone else when they're sober. Um, well, Delphi, you could share it with now. <laughs> um, Delphi was already somewhat aware me and him are similar as you know so i've spoken to him about not the details of all of this but some of it um i'm going to turn in uh you probably should too unfortunately we are going to wake you up early in the morning um i just we have to cover a lot of ground in a week it's fine i i don't think i'm gonna drink it all tonight because i got a little bit too much on my mind yeah <sighs> okay good night rubo and as Chatwin walks towards her own room, I think that's where we're going to leave it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for listening to our final episode of Arc 2 of our podcast. We really appreciate it and we hope you've enjoyed this craziness just as much as we have. Gia is making a terrified face at me and... <laughs> I guess that means it's good. So if you liked this episode and want to see more of us, we are on social media as Chronicles of Kriath Pod, all one word in lowercase, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And we now have a Patreon. So if you want more content in the form of bloopers, homebrew items, or complete different mini series of us playing a bunch of other systems or even this one go check it out and consider subscribing any amount means the world to us so in the meantime 
Thank you all so much for listening. We will have our Q&A next week, so continuation of this in two weeks. But we're super excited to get this story rolling a bit more for you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Uh. <laughs>